любой человек может узнать, что это он сделал. Anyone can find out whether the artist did it by hand or it is a modern painting that has been replicated. Handicraft retains its own spirit, its quality. I learned about the artist at the Umay Gallery and other new artists who were not known and recognized. And they were very talented. For me, it was the discovery of the whole world through art. I discovered artists thanks to this independent platform, with such passion, with such love. I am very glad that then, in the 90s, I introduced Sirjan Bashirov for the audience. Sirjan Bashirov, jewelry designer and artist. He works on a fine line between time and art, the unique heritage of the nomads and the author's own intonation of deeply poetic personality. Metal in his hands takes on the most unusual sound and awakens the imagination. His works carry a reflection of tradition and modernity, the intonation of antiquity made in a modern sound. While studying at an art school, he tried to make museum copies. I looked from the window in the Kostiev Museum, which is the Museum of Art. Then it was the Shevchenko Museum, a very rich exposition of Kazakh jewelry. I also looked at carpets and chests, utensils and interior items. A powerful explosion took place in the work of Sergeant Bashirov. At that time, the artist showed those new motifs and compositions. For example, his very interesting rings were exhibited. Imagine, a ring, brushes, it is round, there is a cross. Of course, we understand at once that this is some kind of very ancient mythology. In fact, semiologists interpret this figure as a humanized space, as a figure of space and time. Of course, he drew our attention with such very complex forms. Sergeant Bashirov is a genius of art, a craftsman. He is engaged in handicraft art. He never called himself a jeweler. Why? Because he, elementary, does not use those tools. As a master, I use some kind of technology. He may have a chalk as a tool machine. He does not even polish his products. He has a hammer, a sledgehammer. Due to what he gets such alien things. At the same time, with such an ethnic, nomadic flavor, everything is there. Sirjan Bashirov believes that he was greatly influenced by the rich history and culture of the Kazakh people, national style and ornament, which are always relevant and by European fashion, avant-garde. The artist was born in the village of Tarbagatai in the East Kazakhstan region. After the eighth grade, he entered the Almaty Art School. Even then, he was interested in the artistic processing of metal, and he came to Horace Ernestovich Solovyov a wonderful master who taught him a lot. He recalls with gratitude Dusensi Dualiv, the first great teacher of jewelry. The young artist began to seriously master the technique of making jewelry. Then he studied at an institute, a sculpture department. In 2011, there was a large exhibition of his installations. Installations are works that can consist of artifacts, either natural or man-made. And the space that forms this whole view of the work. I remember a very interesting installation called the Ark. In this installation, there is such an ingot of brass which in its appearance resembled a monster. The artist supplemented with large eyes, antennas that were out of the open mouth with a kind of panel. 
инсталляции, такой слиток латуни, который своим внешним видом напоминал морское чудище, художником был дополнен глазом большим, антеннами, которые торчали из открытой пасти, и неким таким полотнищем. Это была, по-моему, первая персональная большая выставка, потом уже... This was his first personal large exhibition. Then there was a series of successful exhibitions, recognition in Europe and America. I always thank the artists. I met artists who then become the property of the gallery and the whole country. I learned live from the artists to look at the world differently. Serjan opened for me a completely unique world connected by the past and the future through his works. Уникальный мир, вот, собственно, соединение прошлого и будущего через свои произведения. Первые работы, это в основном были вот серебряные серьги, кольца. The first works were mainly silver rings, earrings, like these. But lately, for 10-15 years, I have been mixing wood, metal. These are the decorations. I remember that there is such a game called tabik. It is similar in form to a tabik. I made these decorations for the Shabit competition. If you remember, our thimbles were like these. Lately, we use European ones. Here is a thimble. And in the old days, there was a ring with a thimble. And he took language, art, jewelry from traditions to make them fresh and modern. What a shine! A corridor of traditions, the depth of traditions. For Kazakhstan, he became a guide to modernity, as in its time the art of antiquity played a great role for Europe, for the Renaissance. And all his jewelry, his installations, his large products are guide. Completely modern, but so deep in the tradition and energy of this art of our ancestors, the ancestors of his land of Altai. This is the intersection of cultures that actually happens all the time. Открытие происходит постоянно. В последнее время Сержан все чаще работает над сериями, и вот к такой серии можно отнести. Recently, Сержан has been working on episodes more and more often, and an absolutely wonderful work, which is called Kazakh Textiles, can be considered a series. On this tablet, we see an image of Сырмак. This is a canonical image. Сержан has chosen a good motif. In the center, we see a cosmius. These are ram's horns, which are placed on the cross, and they have a symbolic meaning. Good wishes on all four sides. Kazakh craftswomen are excellent at weaving carpets. Since ancient times, there is a pile weaving. And here, Serjan shows us stepped rhombuses, a very common motif that can be perceived as a solar sign. Казахские мастерицы великолепно откут ковры. Издревле существует традиционное ворсовое качество, и здесь сержант нам показывает ступенчатые ромбы, тоже очень распространенный мотив, который можно воспринимать, ну как, наверное, импровизированный солярный знак. The artist creates large and small compositions, not only of metal and stones, but also of leather, wood, realizing his thoughts and feelings, following memory, imagination and fantasy. Now he is doing woodwork, some installations. This is all interesting. And at the same time, it makes me think. Therefore, I believe that this is the projection of his emotions that we see in his works. These are such a small sculptures made of wood, such a soft material. There is such a Kazakh instrument, tes. When the poles for the yurt are bent, it is so big. I remembered this tool and made such a sculpture. I have several options. This is the last job. I think this is Urshuk, spindle. 25 years ago I made it for my mom. She used this spindle.
Она пользовалась этим веретеном. Вот этот след, глубокие корни. We follow trace, deep roots through his work. In fact, here are the rhythm of traditions and the rhythm of our modern life and some kind of tension and probably music. It is manifested through the Kazakh language, through culture. So this is the language of a jeweler, a master. This is not a repetition of any variations. His style is recognizable. Everyone will recognize the style of jewelry and the works of Sergei Bashirov by a piece of work. Ювелирки его и произведения сержант Баширов и сразу узнают все с по одному произведению. The works of Sergei Baširov are in the Museum of Asia and Oceania in Warsaw, in the Museum of Gold and Silver in Nursultan, in the Kazakhstan Presidential Cultural Center, in the Museum of the Peoples of the East in Moscow. His works have been exhibited in America many times. He has lived in Europe, Germany, Hungary. He has taught at universities, surprising others with his art and endless searches. The artist constantly improves. Brushes and hairpins, bracelets and rings acquire a unique but always recognizable character in his workshop. Very frequent, barely noticeable symbols are crosses, spirals. I tried to use it in my jewelry. All this was not invented by me. Moreover, these symbols are noticed not only among our people, but among many nations, like signs of fire and water. I use many symbols in a slightly different way, unconsciously. But here is the main thing I took for myself. These are the signs of the sun and fire. The first jewelry was always yellow metal, the color of fire and sun. The sun gives life. It is such a big sign for a person. This is some kind of big connection. This is all interconnected, and Sergeant feels it all. This sun sign is popular. In my opinion, it is the first creator with a sun sign. And I've noticed that foreigners can come and ask, and he speaks English, he can explain. Sergeant Bashirov uses the so-called West Kazakhstan style in his jewelry. Complex grain decorations that are gold, platinum, silver, different in shape, which are superimposed on the ornament, creating a spectacular texture. But modern jewelry are special, minimalistic, in the context of a contemporary, modern contemporary style. In fact, this is the whole world of a big people, great traditions. Here is the earth and the sky, the constellation of the bear. Again, we see the sacral circle. It is a shanarag, it is the universe. Again, earth and the sky are connected as one. In the small work, we see the universe of the myth of the ancient people. There is such a round decoration, Tana. Tana is often a cross, a symbol. Maybe this is due to the fact that the warriors have such a sharina. It is translated as reflecting arrows, an arrow that would not pierce a person. Tana has become a feminine adornment. Crosses, equilateral crosses, are often found in jewelry. In the west, in the south, and in the north, artists make these signs intuitively without being fully aware. На юге, на севере. Художники многие делаем интуитивно, наверное, эти знаки, не, не совсем осоз... осознавая. Сержан Баширов is one of the most famous collectors in the world. Works from his collections are exhibited in the Museum of Oskimen. The collection contains ancient household items of Kazakhs. 
there is a topic almost forgotten, called Tsipura. This is a leather tablecloth. Duff was rolled out on it. There are other items, and they are all valuable from the point of view of the cultural component and the historical one. These are chests with embroidery, kestie, and other things that are no less interesting. Sergeant began collecting 30 years ago. I bought jewelry. Then I started buying Kazakh carpets, youths, interior items, horse equipment. I was interested so much. I gathered a large collection. Even on trips to Europe, at markets, I found a lot of Kazakh jewelry. I bought several Kazakh jewelry in Los Angeles at one gallery. Recently, in Tbilisi, I bought Kazakh jewelry at a vintage market. This is not a product, this is art, with roots, and it's modern. And the fact that this person, as an artist, feels the pulse of modernity, and he connects that art lover or collection, or the same girl who buys this work, she may not even be aware of what she is touching. We touch ourselves, then we start to praise the author and understand what he wants to say. Then the excitement begins, the trembling of the soul. You touch life through a work of art. In every work, as in a magical crystal, you touch yourself, life, beauty and God. And it is very interesting to see how we are changing our way of life, everyday life, and ourselves. The Kazakhs have changed a lot, both the costume and the way of life. And this is a natural process for many countries. They change and transform, but symbols remain unchanged. Любимая тема художника и до сих пор он ее очень активно разрабатывает. Это пайдзе. The artist's favorite theme, and he still actively develops it. This paidze is often used in the forms of pendants. Paidze is a clan emblem, which indicated the nobility of the clan. Sergan's jewelry is mostly symbols. That is why it is so interesting for us to examine his works. I would like to point out all the signs of contemporary art. Some may be deformation, some understatement, some kind of admiration for the texture. All the hallmarks of contemporary art that developed throughout the early 20th and 21st centuries. And it is very typical for his works. Пайдзе are passports of the 12th century in the Golden Horde. He took it and did it according to the form. This is the sky, the sun, the horizon, and the afterlife. This is a very interesting decoration called handle. This is a real eagle owl's claw. It is framed with silver. In fact, it was a saukilia decoration. Saukilia was no longer worn a hundred years ago. And the handle, they also began to use it on the chest, somewhere in the braids. We have owl feathers. The owl does not close his eyes at night. And this is a strong amulet that protects day and night. Рассказывали, что ЭКУ – это филин, который и ночью не закрывает глаза, и как бы сильный оберег, который круглые сутки оберегает. Я не знаю, какие у него внутри… I don't know what impulses and emotions he has. It is difficult to guess, because he is such a down-to-earth person. But again, such a tall, big person. It's hard for me to say what he thinks, how he creates this jewelry of his. This is when he picks up an instrument. It's like a continuation of thoughts. Ассамбляжи – это еще очень, ну, такой интересный вид. 
Assemblages are another very interesting art form that is very much like a collage. But unlike collage, some reliefs can be used in the assemblage, some very different. And Sirjan is already adding colors, which also mean a lot. Assemblages are probably an art form that helps to speak with science, and Sirjan has a whole series about these. Тут, наверное, вид искусства, который помогает, ну, говорить знаками. И целая серия у Сержана есть по этому поводу. He is integral in all his works. It is as if he released a living work of art that lives its own life and makes us all whole and loved by ourselves. And in life, as it were, we feel ourselves anew. Kusmuru is a bird's beak. It is very popular. Bird beak rings are interpreted differently. A bird's beak brings good news. The girl gets married, and a year later her parents send good news. Something like this. In these assemblages, we see how he actively works with the symbolic sign of a vortex rosette. He adds color, its color is also symbolic. White, we know, it's sacred. He also introduces the metal, which is the most diverse, and copper, and silver, and cupronickel. And it turns out very interesting, both in color and in rhythm. I would say a modern work of art. В общем, получается очень интересная, я бы сказала, занимательная такая и по цвету, и по ритму современное произведение искусства. В косы вплетали шолпы. Я бы хотел видеть девушку. Шолпа was woven into the braids. I would like to see a girl in earrings. It is very pleasant when jewelry is woven into the braids. Several coins and bells are sewn into the headdress. Целая серия ассамбляжей у Сержана показывают нам, ну его. A whole series of assemblages shows us his attraction to modern life. For example, there are such assemblages where he shows modern Nursultan, its high-rise buildings, Norman Foster's Hanshatgr, and this is of course very interesting. And we understand that the artist is interested in literally everything, and modern life too. Интересно, потому что мы понимаем, что художника интересует, ну, буквально все и современная жизнь в том числе. Он является моим учителем в плане такой. He is my spiritual teacher. I get inspiration when I look at his work, but he is already so contemporary. I would give it almost the first place. Я бы сказал, вот, наверное, чуть ли не первое место я бы ему дал. Today, Sergei Bashirov follows the immutable rules, the use of only environmentally friendly materials, and works using the technologies of Stab Zirgers. These are handheld machines, anvil, hammer, heating pad. That's all. He has a friend and like-minded German artist, scientist Martina Dempf. She organized a joint exhibition with Sergei Bashirov in Berlin. Martina Dempf, also an interesting Martina Dempf is a very interesting Western jeweler. She has her own workshop, her own gallery right in the center of Berlin. This exhibition opened in November. Her work, mine and also of a Brazilian jeweler were exhibited. We are united by such large forms. She does such daring work. Martina is a very well-known jeweler. Many people write about it in large catalogs. Про нее пишут в таких больших каталогах. Сержант Баширов открывает для нас. Сержант Баширов opened for us. He opened us as well. This is a passion for life, for everything beautiful. This is my confession to the artist. This is a declaration of love for the artist. This is a recognition that I always discover something new through him. It is not at all surprising that Сержант Баширов is in the spotlight. We were not lost in this fascinating journey, because the artist invited us to our origins, to our roots, and this is what we need today.